What's up guys, Hoodlum2002 here with another diecast review for today. I am going to be reviewing Alex Bowman's uh, Xfinity win from the Charlotte race in 2017. So before we get into the card itself, let's take a quick look at the box. So on the top here, you got your standard Xfinity race winning uh, box. You got like the checkered flag right there. Race version of NASCAR Xfinity Series. Uh... Action Racing's 25th anniversary. Yep, 1992 2017. The Choice of Champions. Anyways, on the front you have 2017 race winner Lionel Racing. Standard finish, gonna render the car right there. Oh, I just knocked my camera. <laughs> I gotta make sure it's centered. Okay. <laughs> you gotta render the car right there. 2017 standard finish, Charlotte winner. They made a total of 907 of these standard finish. Got the race sticker right there. NASCAR Xfinity Series Action Racing Collectibles. Got the 2017 race schedule right there. Okay, why is this now looking? Okay. I don't know why, but this thing is kind of... But you got your 2017 race schedule right there from Daytona to Homestead. NASCAR Xfinity Series race version Lionel. 2017 Action Racing Silver Series, blah blah blah. And there's the copyright and such. <laughs> I just hit something over here. So here is the car itself. Do a quick 360 in this car. This car's got a decent amount of confetti on it. <laughs> This was, uh, really, uh, I didn't watch this race, but when I found out that Alex Bowman, uh, won this race, I was like, oh, dang. He was, uh, this was, uh, obviously 2017, so going into 2018, he was going to be driving the 88 car, uh, since Dale Jr. was retiring. So pretty cool for, uh, Alex Bowman to win the... This was the oval, by the way. This wasn't the roval. Chase Briscoe won the oval, roval. But this was the last Xfinity race at the Charlotte Oval for the fall race. So, Bowman won the last oval race. The last fall Charlotte race that took place at the oval. So, pretty cool. This does come with a few things. You, of course, have your little uh, bag of confetti. Pink, white, and blue, since this race was in October, so Cancer Awareness Month. Got your stat card right here, Charlotte Motor Speedway, NASCAR Xfinity Series. Alex Bowman, drive for the Cure 300 winner. Charlotte, North Carolina, October 7, 2017. This was his first NASCAR Xfinity Series win. Got the trophy right there. I mean, that's a nice little bio right here on the back if you want to pause the video and read that. And in the background, you got Alex Bowman in Victory Lane celebrating. Right, you got race version up there in the corner. GM down there on the bottom. Bowman scores first win at Charlotte. So now let's get down to sponsors on the car. So on the hood, you have HendrickCars.com. You've got Chevy Camaro on the front. You've got 42 and Chip Ganassi Racing. Going down the side, you got your normal contingencies. Moog, Molly, Comp, Edelbrock, Sunoco, Goodyear, Holly, MSD, Duralast, Brakes, Mechanic Wear, Mechanics Wear, Simpson, Coors Light, ARP. Let me just see if I can zoom in. ARP, NASCAR, Xfinity Series, NASCAR, Race Car. You have the, um, what are these little things? You got the uh, Vegas, Pray for Vegas, I believe. I don't know what this red, white, and gold one is. I don't know what that is. Really hard to read it. On the quarter panel, you've got Vinoy Construction. You've got Atsuka. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then in front of the rear tire, you got Lincoln Welders and Sherwin Williams. 
on the uh, on the C post you got Shane oh in loving memory of Shane Vinoy. Then on the uh, B post you got a uh, DC Solar, Enios, BBR, First Data. I don't know what's underneath First Data. It's like Ryan something, and I don't know what's above BBR. And you got Alex Bowman's name. Alex is blue, and then Bowman is just white. So basically, how it looks on his uh, on his uh, on his nationwide card, basically. And then you have all of like the four winning stickers. Obviously, this was the only one that Bowman won. These other, I think, few were won by other drivers. Zoom out. On the back, you got Chevy Camaro, you got Hendrick Cars, and Hendrick Cars. Oh, yeah, you've also got SS right there, so Chevy Camaro SS. Got the 42... Got the 42 right here on the uh, on the right. Hendrick, I don't know why HendrickCars.com is on here twice, but it's bigger on the left and smaller on the right. Also, you got like the little camera printed right there. On the deck lid, you got BBR Music Group. This is number 215. And then on the roof, you got HendrickCars.com and Bowman's name. Same stuff down the other side. Let's take a look under the hood. You got Chevy right there underneath the hood. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no roof flaps or deck lid from the uh, from these uh, Xfinity cars. So now let's go ahead and get down to the damage of this car and like the race winning stuff. So on the hood, obviously you've got like a ton of confetti of the pink, white, and blue confetti. Uh, maybe zoomed in too far. Windows also covered in a decent amount of uh, of confetti, but then on the front you can see some like grill tape, some rubber all along where all like the white is. You can see some confetti managed to get its way onto the splitter right there. Some rubber is like all along the uh, splitter. Going down the side, really not much. Kind of got some uh, tire tire wear right there. The R in Goodyear's almost wiped off. Eagle's almost completely gone. Got some rubber all along here. Some confetti down here along the side skirt. Some scratches. Some more rubber and stuff. One thing I really do like about this car is they had it. This was It was a matte finish. So Lionel actually did make it in a matte finish. You can also see some like rubber over Hendrick Car of the HendrickCars.com logo. Uh, got some confetti right here on this tire. Was there any on the front? I mean, maybe no. That says 42 on it. So no confetti on the front tire, but decent amount of uh, some confetti. Again, you got some confetti also all along here by the uh, windows. Got some right there on the windows. Got some covering up like his name and all that. And get back here. You've got, got some tire stuff. I think this would be... I think this is like fuel spill off or something. And tire. Uh, and when someone made contact with him. Okay, got some confetti all along. Like C post, B post, all that. Can't really see nothing on the back because the whole back of the car is black, so can't really see that. There is a lot of confetti on like the deck lid, the rear window, roof. So yeah. Going down the back here, this is where like a lot of damage, some of the like most of the damage is. So obviously assuming when he was doing his burnouts, he blew the tire out and it shredded the uh, quarter panel. So this is my first race win diecast to have the uh, like the quarter panels cut out due to the like uh, rear end damage. The next one I'll be getting that will probably have the cut the uh, the uh, the rear panels cut will be uh, Alex Bowman's Chicago Land win. So. 
both damaged diecast with the quarter panel. Apparently, you're gonna be on Alex Bowman cars. But you can, you still can see some tire wear where like Lionel, I guess, didn't want to cut because if you look, the cut is like right. It it's almost even with this round edge right here. So I guess that's as far as they could cut. Sucks we didn't get like an a uh, shredded tire or anything. Would have loved that. Anyways, got some like burn marks by the exhaust. Some more confetti all along the side of the car. Got some confetti right here along the window. Some rubber and stuff all along here. No confetti on this tire either. Got some decent amount of confetti on this tire right here. A lot of confetti over here. Really happy I got this car. I mean, like, here's the other side. Obviously, all the Xfinity cars have this plastic base. And I think the ARC cars... And I think the ARC versions of the uh, 2019... Or no. Of uh, 20, the 2018 and 2019 Cup cars also have a plastic frame. And the deck lid doesn't open on the ARCs now. So, if you want an opening deck lid on a Cup car die cast... You're going to have to get the Elite. I'll be okay with a few ARCs. But like maybe. But like Bowman's uh, Chicago Land win. I pre-ordered the Elite version of that. So can't wait to have that. And to have these side by side. First Xfinity win and first Cup win. Sounds pretty cool. Honestly, I had two die casts I could have reviewed for this video. It was either this uh, or the 164 of uh, Ryan Blaney's Roval win from last year. I kind of chose this because I wanted to. And uh, I kind of wanted to do a 124 review video since I haven't done one in a while. I didn't have a video up last week because I was really busy. Uh, we got hit by a... a by Tropical Storm Imelda, I believe. We didn't get no flood damage, but the wind was so powerful. It knocked uh, some branches off of a tree that we have in there on, like, uh, the on our roof. In our backyard, we have, like, a flat part of the roof. So I had to help my, uh, I had to help my dad get that stuff down. So that's why I wasn't able to make a, um, a diecast video last week, but back on it again and uh, plan to keep it going for the next few weeks coming up. We got, uh, I believe, Dover next week. So, got the Roval tomorrow. The Xfinity race wrapped up like 10, 20 minutes ago. AJ Allmendinger won that race, so hopefully he can pass inspection because a few of the races he's ran this year. He's uh, got disqualified. One of the things that really bugs me about this car is it's really unbalanced. And I don't like that. I ordered it off of eBay, but I, I think I, I got it from Diecast Depot. But And uh, I've seen uh, some people have some problems with them, but I probably should have seen if K-State Diecast had it. But uh, at the time, I didn't know about K-State Diecast. So, again, I just went on eBay, looked for it, got it, and it's here. So, still planning on keeping it, no matter what. But, uh, really hoping Alex Bowman can get through the Roval tomorrow and make it to the round of 12. He's currently two points out of the playoffs. William Byron is two points in, and those two are starting 1-2. Uh, Byron qualified for the pole, again, for the fifth time this season, I believe. And uh, Bowman qualified second, so... If we have a... If something like last year happens this year, I'm pretty sure Bowman's going to make it into the next round. I'm pretty sure Byron's going to do it. I think he did it Sonoma... He started on the pole on the going into the first stage, won the first stage, and then just fell off since then. 
Because it seems like every time Byron wins the poll, he's up there for a good, like, for like the first, like, 25% of the race. And then he falls back after that. Bowman started, I think he started third in this race last year, and he finished fourth. Well, I think he would have finished sixth if Truex and Johnson wouldn't have wrecked there at the uh, end. And had that not happened, I don't think Bowman would have made it into the next round. So... But this time, I'm hoping Bowman can get some good stage points, make it to the round of 12, because if he can make it to the round of 12, then I'm going to predict that he's going to make the round of 8. That was my prediction from the start, because uh, the round of 12 are the three tracks that Bowman got second at three times, that Bowman got second three times in a row earlier this year, Dover, Talladega, and Kansas. He finished second at Dover due to because uh, Truex beat him on the green flag pit stops, and Bowman could just never close in. Bowman probably would have needed a caution to come out or Truex to struggle getting by lap traffic. Dang it, Newman, why weren't you there? <laughs> and then Talladega, I don't know if he would have had a chance to win Talladega. But again, they were going through. T they were coming down the back straightaway, and they called the caution because uh, apparently when Ricky Stenhouse wrecked, uh, they NASCAR seen some debris, and they called the caution just when uh, Kyle Larson and Jeffrey Earnhardt were wrecking. So don't know if Bowman could have had a chance to win that race, but we'll never know because it ended uh, ended under caution. So Chase Elliott wins at Talladega. Kansas of the three was the one Bowman had the better chance at winning. Out front, just the lap cars kind of killed him. Almost like how they almost killed him at uh, Chicagoland. Paul Menard, I'm staring at you. <laughs> Thankfully, he managed to get by Paul Menard. And uh, didn't really have to p put too much up with uh, Daniel Hemrick. Larson ended up getting by him, but then... Uh, Bowman fought back and came back for the win and for his first cup win. So, for Kansas, I have Bowman winning Kansas in the round of 12. It, whether he is or isn't in the playoffs, I still think he's going to win Kansas. That's probably the best place he's going to have to win. Because uh, they're going to be using that Chicago land chassis. He used it at Vegas and finished 6th. So... Hoping Bowman can make it to the round of 12 and hopefully maybe to the round of 8. But if he makes it to the round of 8, I don't see him making the round of 4. So, round of 12, round of 8, or he's just going to get eliminated in the round of 16. But anyway, that's pretty much all there is to say in this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, I just messed this up. Hope you guys enjoyed as always, and uh, see you guys next week. Uh, next week's review will be a 164 review, but it will also be a race win review. I think I'm going to have another three uh, race winning reviews. Two of them are going to be 164s and another 124 review. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I will see you guys next week. Enjoy the roll tomorrow. It's going to be chaotic.